us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is... Hey besties! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here with such a special guest, you guys. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna let him do his intro, but I, I'm so excited for this video. We met this year in May. Yeah, May of 2021. May of 2021, and I, I just really love his energy and his vibe and his spirit and all that. So I'm gonna tell you guys who he is. <laughs> Take the floor. Hello, everybody. My name is Trenton Wayne. I am the CEO and founder of Trenton Wayne Astrology Practice. <laughs> it helps everybody to understand their foundational energies using astrological techniques. <laughs> Period. <laughs> we don't even need to say nothing more, Bessie. We're going to get right into this motherfucking video. Okay. okay, you guys. So I have a little dual action going on. I know you guys can't really see. If you're watching this from YouTube, I'm on live on my Instagram. I just want part of this to be like a little interactive for a little bit of it. We're gonna talk about astrology and your chart, how we got into it, all these things. We're gonna get down into it, but I'm also gonna connect with the viewers on my live just for a little bit of it if they have any live questions. That way we can feed off of this and we can really just answer anything you guys want to know if you're new to astrology and maybe we talk about numerology yeah. a little bit because he's into I'm super super into it my life has taken like a full okay me <laughs> yeah okay but I mean first I'm gonna give like my version of how Go we met <laughs> we met in a rehearsal for a video that we did with this amazing choreographer. And I was walking out of, we were put on break. We were put in sections. We were walking out on break. And I was talking to my homegirl. I was like, bitch, I done been manifesting and doing woo-wah, woo-wah, this done third. And he was like, excuse me, like, did I hear you say something about manifesting? And I was like, yes, oh. And I'm like, juiced. Like, I'm so excited because, because I'm excited, bitch. Like, what? This shit is fun insane i love doing this so we started talking he was like i do astrology and, and charts and i was like stop it read me read me right now and because like i have always been into astrology my whole life but i think the times when i would talk about astrology with people it was coming from people who knew me yeah. so when they would say things period when they would say things it would kind of be like bitch are you saying that because you know me right you know right. what i mean like it was almost like you could say something and then it's like hmm that fits mm. okay that makes mm. sense to you and i was almost like putting that together and i was like but am i being read so i was so excited to connect with you because it was like oh he don't know me worth that damn baby he don't know my sign he don't know nothing he ain't been through the trenches with me he can't put anything together so that's why i was so excited to hear from you because I was like, this is like a clean slate. Like, this is almost like the real deal. Absolutely. You know, this is what I do. This is why I do what I do. I done got me a pumpkin scone, y'all. I don't <laughs> even like pumpkin, but I've been seeing everything on TikTok all day. So like, I got a pumpkin cold brew. I got pumpkin spice latte, bitch. I went to Dunkin' I got me a vanilla latte. <laughs> hey, it's the same. And I got him a little chai latte. But I was like, let me try this little pumpkin scone. You want to try it? Yes, well. It's actually not even bad. I'm really not a pumpkin type of female. But she cute. Oh, girl. She's not bad to be a little oh, Starbucks little get pumpkin it. scone. You gotta get it. If you don't like pumpkin, you should still try her. Yo. Cute. This is good. This She's is cute. cute. She cute. But, yes, uh, that's why I do what I do. You know what I mean? Like, uh, my journey with astrology and understanding my own chart, I was just like, wait. You know, like, a little a little backstory to it. I used to be really skeptical. But how old were you? So this was April of 2018 that I okay, started, period. and that would have made me 20. Period. So I used to be super skeptical about astrology, all, all that, all that jazz. Like, mm -hmm. all I knew was that the characteristics that were supported around Scorpio, I knew that, I knew that much. 
the characteristics that were like around Scorpio, I didn't really resonate with that, like uh, how astrology was uh, presented to the media. Okay. So my friend came yeah, to me. People don't like Scorpios. Yeah, I I don't know why. Like to me, I'm like I don't give off Scorpio vibes. You don't. So maybe I do. I don't know. Not like, really. So like, and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I never really identified with that. Identified or resonated with that. So my friend was like, Oh hey, you should watch this reading on YouTube. And I'm like. Oh, no, I'm okay. So I was just like... <laughs> this hand has to go somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> and I was just... <laughs> I hate it. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> maybe, okay. Let's try it. So I watched the reading and it was, it was real accurate. Like she started spitting out specific stuff. Like you have to be in my circle to know. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, maybe, maybe she got lucky. I don't know. Not so, lucky, but I yeah. was like, let's watch another one just to be sure. And it's like she picked up my book, opened it, and started reading page eight. And I'm like, wow, okay, I'm sold. Where do I sign? Mm -hmm. So then this was like literally like months before I moved to LA for the first time. Okay. So uh, once I moved to LA, I wanted to delve more into like the tarot sides of things and see mm -hmm. if that was like my direction. Besties, I'm getting into that. I'm scared. Listen, Bestie, listen. I be getting red. I'm like, <laughs> ah, 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 okay. it's getting a little invasive. Listen, uh, listen. Sleeping with the lights on. Okay. Okay. Stop playing with me. Me and my little night lights be in the bed, like. <laughs> right, like. Bitch, who did I just summon up in this motherfucker? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Y'all wonder why I go on live twelve times a day. I need friends. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, wait. Relatable. No, but for real. Okay, yeah, so like, scary. I never really resonated with tarot. Like, I can't, I couldn't like get the like what the cards meant. I really sat down and tried. I'm fucking crying. She just did not. It wasn't me. your ministry, right? She was like English in high school, so. <laughs> not your first language. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is why I majored in Italian. So. Did you really? Girl, my phone is in Italian. <laughs> what? Where was you born? I was born here in New York. Oh, this is not in New York. I don't right? understand. Like, we're in but like, why so, is English hard for you? Just understanding like grammar and stuff. I had to understand Italian, like in uh, in order to understand how English grammar was set up. Um, yeah, just a little fun fact. He's a special kind of bitch. Because <laughs> if someone told me to go learn a foreign language to understand English, I would just beat you. <laughs> I'm communicate okay. through motherfucking cards. Right. <laughs> through cards and symbols. Flashcards, bitch. We ASL up in this hell because what? Yeah. You're different. Yeah, no. I just, it just wasn't my cup of tea, but like, I'm really Italian. Stuck on that, I'm so stuck on that. But yeah, no. And then I was just like, you know, why not try astrology? So I delved into it and I, it like, it clicked right away. I understood it. And okay, I'm going to preface this with a grain of salt. Uh, I used to tell everybody to download the app CoStar if you're familiar with it. And oh, Bessie T told me. I hey, so don't do that. Don't don't do it now. Like there's so much wrong with CoStar. Be sure you don't want to this is the last bite. Oh, go for it, girl. You enjoying it? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good hit, good they be making fun of me because there's not a single YouTube video that I have put out that I haven't been eating something. Wait. And they be like, making edits to me. I'm like, eat, 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 ugly ass. Keep fucking that shit up. And do. <laughs> and do. But, but. It's gone. At the end of it, your hunger is complete, right? I just feel like I need a little snack. Like. Okay. <laughs> I see nothing wrong. No, like you want me to talk and get all this energy. I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, me. But yeah, no, like, I used to be such an advocate for CoStar, like, wasn't sponsored by them, but, like... <laughs> he said I was giving free promo for too damn yes, long. I was. And then to find out that the chart that CoStar shows you only tells you so much. And then my chart was also wrong. Um, so, for example, uh, my CoStar chart, it said that I had placements in my first house, my fifth house, my sixth house, seventh house, eighth, ninth, and eleventh house, right? So it said also my son fell into my fifth house. So if I'm giving an analysis with somebody, wait, can we give them like a like super really, really, really fast basis of like 
your houses. Like, just say, like, what your houses mean. Cool, yeah. Just, like, real quick. So, I'll, like, try and put them into, like, a few words so that everybody mm -hmm. understands. So, first house is always the self. New beginnings, right? Your style, how you appear to other people. Second house, money, income, your well, Let resources. me see what I got in the second one. You remember Bro. my chart, bitch? What's in my... So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Go back to my second Listen, house. Maybe that's, that could be like another video we can analyze your chart. Like maybe we, I, I'm not trying to roast you on live or anything like that. Y'all keep did read me. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> when he gave me my reading, baby, I looked at him like, like you're not wrong. <laughs> like, did I know that about myself? Yes. Um, do I appreciate being dragged in the middle of this rehearsal outside of <laughs> concrete in the heat and we have eight more hours left to go? No. no. <laughs> but you know, it was all out of love. But let me tell you, she's grown since then. Absolute, as you should have. Right? She's grown. She took it in. She said, noted. Hate you. <laughs> noted. <laughs> I can't. I didn't, I wasn't appreciative, but it was, it was a lot of positivity. But it was just like, I remember two very um, specific things that you had said to me and they happened to be the first two things that came out your mouth. And I said, wow, you had to start there. I guess they were prominent. Yeah. <laughs> they must have been in the first house. They must have been with the self because they came quickly and I said, hmm. You know, I do have those traits. like I said, everything here is out of love, you know, but we, we might have to drag somebody sometimes. I'm kidding. I'm I said. <laughs> a yeet and a yaga if you will Bitch. <laughs> okay i'm sorry so the second house is money the third house so yeah money income resources is the second house third house is all about communication learning beliefs ideas i, did that good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will continue to hype myself up um fourth house is all about your foundations your roots family living mm. situations uh fifth house is all about your creativity having fun this also talks about romance mm. uh sixth house it talks about being a service to other people it talks about your health and wellness goals and nutrition your Can't seventh wait. house talks about your partnerships general relationships uh marriage divorce business opportunities oh. eighth house talks about a plethora of things Transformation, uh, the occult sciences, so astrology, morality, tarot, witchcraft. Um, this also ooh, talks about the depths ooh, of ooh, life. Lisa, witchcraft. I can't. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here thinking something happened. I, I rebuke any energy that may. We don't do. Mr. Pure one. Woo, baby. I, yeah. <laughs> These candles stay lit in this house. Let me tell y'all, I don't learn about spirituality and all that other shit. I told you them tarot should be scaring me. Took my ass to the stove. <laughs> Throw me a little pure candles. I play it with me. You need to use um, Yo, some, I some synonyms. <laughs> I kid you not. Rebuke. I thought something happened with the candles. No. <laughs> I was clearing it out. I don't know what you brought in here. I can't. Yo. <laughs> Your energies today. I'm like, I'm here for it. And we're only four sips in. Okay. <laughs> Let me get. I'm fucking crying. Okay, period, 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 period. So, yes, transformation, the occult sciences, the depths of life, right? Uh, this also talks about other people's resources. Okay. Uh, ninth house is all belief systems, philosophies of life, cultures, languages, bigger business. Um, tenth house talks about your career, your public image, and your persona on social media. Eleventh house talks about your friends, social circles, oh, humanitarian. I, I can't. Well, you know, <laughs> well, let me tell you, we had that talk, right? Yeah. I don't even know if you seen it in my chart, but let me tell you, the friend. <laughs> they, Gone. They said, no more. Gone. Right. <laughs> they said, please sign this Gone. contract. Like, gotta, gotta unsubscribe. Kinda, right. Absolutely. Okay. Not, you know, they're just not in alignment with where, where you are. It's not now. in my ministry. Right. <laughs> that's all right. Okay. So, yes, that's 11th house. Um, it also talks about your dreams, your aspirations. I don't right? have those. Okay. All right. All right. Then 12th house, it talks about everything hidden. It talks about, like, karma, your subconscious. It talks about meditation. Not, <laughs> not Myrtle. <laughs> karma bit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that video from America's Next Top Model? I'm screaming. <laughs> Took 
cameras. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Please, please don't roast me. Um, but yeah, no, those are a, like a little bit about like what the houses mean and everything. So for my chart, it said that on CoStar, it said that my son was in my fifth house of Scorpio. So if I'm giving an analysis, let's say, your son is in your your fifth house of Scorpio. I would be like, you're somebody that really likes to have fun. You express yourself creatively. Uh, you have a really true passion for it. You're gonna see a lot of transformation through your creativity. I think I took notes. She came prepared to the party. <laughs> no, because you guys, he gave me like a general reading, and then. Is this it? No, that was a letter to my childhood self. Absolutely. <laughs> We were doing some healing and some shadow work. Me in 2020. And um, I had to write a letter to little Jazz. I was crying the whole time. Okay. I was like, bitch, I love you. You want me to You got a couple of tears off on paper? <laughs> Y'all, shadow work is no joke. Like, I'm telling you, I'm really going to, like, take this, like, series or whatever it is that I'm doing to share these things. Like, I'm not trying to hide. I don't even know what camera to look at live or here. I'm going to look at the YouTube. <laughs> I'm you know, not, I've been like, <laughs> but, um, I'm not trying to hide what I've been going through and yeah. what life is. And I feel like so many people try to paint this picture. Like they may say, yes, you're going to go through dark times. But it's going to be great. But, like, I'm going to tell you about the dark times because the dark times be real ugly oh, and they're yeah, not always it. quick. It's not like rainbows and sunshines and everything's going to be okay. Like sit in it, live in it, feel because that's how you grow, like acknowledge mm -hmm. those emotions write those emotions down and, and see how those emotions connect. Have you felt that before? Because I said in the last video, life is going to continue to repeat itself through its lessons until you learn from that lesson. You don't go to second grade until you pass first grade. Right. You don't get to go to high school until you pass middle school. And if you don't understand that curriculum because it continues to build off of each other, you're not going to have that. Okay. So that's what healing is and doing that shadow work because here you are an adult dealing with the same shit that she was dealing with when he was 13. And imagine this, like you're here now in your 20s, <laughs> you know, really with this knowledge. This that I you got it, girl. But there are people in their 50s and 60s who haven't done that inner work, right? And it's ghetto. And it's, but like societally and collectively, we've had that, you know, kind of structure on us. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, 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 not that's lying out of us. <laughs> Listen, me and my shadow work be on through. It's somewhere in the streets, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I want to like dive in a, li a little bit more. I can, we'll, we'll do more talks on that. I'll definitely have you back and we can oh, get girl. into it because you she's, already know. she's something. Yeah. Okay, so I guess before we like end like the live and, and just continue here do you guys just have any like questions like about astrology or or anything along those lines like i know they always make fun of me because i'm like emotional and all water oh uh, then get ready to make fun of me too because here i am at whole scorpio like i i um I've been crying this whole week. It's Love that! <laughs> like, I'm learning how to be more vulnerable because I, I just don't do that because of my air dominance in my chart. But like, you're all listening to that like, uh-huh, okay. I love that. That's okay, true. so your son is Scorpio. My son is Scorpio, my ascendant is Gemini, and my moon is in Libra. Y'all know how I'm Gemini. Y'all know. Like Yo, no, I don't like the Gemini. I'm sorry to do that to you. I don't like the Gemini. No, I, I didn't ask for it. I'm sorry. I, I, I just kind of. I know that we kind of just be throwing in some shit, baby. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me see. What app should you use to find more information about it? Okay, so it depends on what level you are in astrology. Um, My boyfriend said he wants a reading. Uh, absolutely, I got you. <laughs> um, so. If you are more intermediate or advanced with astrology, I recommend using Time Nomad. Uh, it's not going to break down anything for you. It's not going to give you any like um, meanings of what placements mean in different houses. It's kind of like you got to do that work yourself, right? So like that's for the intermediate and advanced folks, right? For the beginners, um, Time Passage is a great app to use. Um, make sure you get an app though that pulls up your natal wheel. They and said I'm not, level zero. Okay, great. So um, you it's giving we're just finding out. Right. So time passages would be a great. 
Today's the first lesson. <laughs> right. Got it. Time Passage is a great app. Um, I've heard the pattern is a great app. That's more pattern of a, app? the pattern. She reads, she reads me into a, she. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to get banned from YouTube. The um, pattern yeah. app had me ugly crying in public. Yo, wait. Ugly crying in public with mm -hmm. a bottle of wine in the park in broad day. Like, I was looking at that shit, boo-hooing. Me and Kaysana got a little <laughs> Because he was like, is you for real crying over this app right now? And I was like, wait. yes, it's because I time traveled and it said, it whoop de whoop walk years. This is what's gonna happen to me. And I think that shit's so literally. <sighs> it's the wine for me. If you have anxiety like Jasmine White does, tread lightly, bitch, because you could really go into the future. And if you don't like what it say, you can't unsee that. Listen, let me, let me, let me tell you when <laughs> they told me what was happening in my week. <laughs> you didn't appreciate it. And it happened. I said, we're not friends though. Like we said, <laughs> we said we need to purify these streets. Definitely. Because how do I rebuke that? How, how do I get that? But let me, let me tell you guys something. Even though this is not about manifesting and things like that, what I want to say in regards to my, my growth and things like that, like this was in the very beginning of me learning about this. And if you are a beginner, when I say tread lightly, I, I take, I mean that literally because you still have all the power to change your future and what you're putting out. You can grow, you can evolve, and you can put things into your universe and into your life. You don't have to take things to be like, I'm doomed, bitch. Right. Um, fucks for life or whatever that is. Like, take that and say, okay. Like, I'm really learning, like, when you're getting into, like, tarot and, like, spirituality and things like this, they always say take what resonates and leave what doesn't. That was so futuristic, so there's no way in God-given hell that it resonates right now. You may not like that, so just leave it. Leave it where it's at and focus on paving this path of positivity and love and light within you right now. And you cross that bridge when you get there. It may not even be that bad. Nothing is specific. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing is. Um, no, you're right. Nothing is specific, specific or, or set determined. In stone. Yes. Right. Nothing is set in stone. You you still have this power to change things, and and it may not even really fully resonate when you get there. You may be like, oh, like maybe that could have happened, or maybe that's happening to someone near me, or whatever it is. That does not mean that that defines you. Absolutely, like that's all free will, right? So like I can sit here and tell you all about your chart and astrology, but like we're here on our reality, right? We're here like seeing everything in the 3D. So like we have the option and the power to do whatever it is that we wanna do. And for certain you know, messages that you may get, um, you may not resonate with it because you're not ready to hear that yet. Yeah. You know, you're not there in your journey to hear it yet. So you have to take everything with a grain of salt. And you'll know if something resonates with you because it usually happens right away. Um, and then for the things that you have to be like, hmm, you know, what does that remind me of? Nine out of 10 times, it does not resonate, love. If you have to sit here and think about it, it probably does not resonate. You'll know right away yeah, if something, re exactly. You'll know if something resonates versus you sitting there and being like. Your body knows. And I, mm -hmm. that's part of the reason why, I'm gonna cut the live soon, just so you guys know. But that's part of the reason why I loved the reading that you gave me so much because I was in a transitional place where everything he said, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. But I remember stepping to the side and calling my mom. And I had so much like, oh, like excitement mm -hmm. because it's almost like you gave me confirmation that I was in my right body. Absolutely. Like that, it sounds so dramatic and so intense, but like, hear me out everything that you said down to my intuition down to the certain creativity blocks and like the reason why like within the shadow work that i needed to do and shit like that that was nothing new that was nothing new at all i really wish i could find those notes he actually sent me like a voice recording and sometimes i listen to that like when i'm like scatterbrained it like almost like centers me at times he looks like that mom on christmas when like you just <laughs> open like the amazing gift and she's like mm-hmm Right. Yes, baby. <laughs> you know you deserved it. I'm gonna post his at you guys, don't you worry. You will have every resource to speak to him, get a hold of him and utilize his work and his business. I'm going to give you all of that. Absolutely. Um, but it gave me so like, 
I didn't have to overthink anything yeah. whatsoever. I had been studying it. I had been feeling those things. And once you told me all those things, it was almost like now I have the confirmation to continue moving the way that I'm moving. And I met so many amazing people, even off that job, like Bounce and Yahira and all these people that I had connected with you, like still in my life now to where Bounce this morning sent me a full prayer that aligned perfectly with what I had just been on the phone with my mom oh, crying about. I love and I opened up that. that prayer and I was like, how was that verbatim what I just told my mom that I'm worrying about right now? And like, because you're in alignment. In a divine <laughs> alignment. That is like literally to see. how I would explain okay. meeting you and that connection. Divine intervention, divine alignment, meeting the right people, doing the right things. And it is just you'll know so when it resonates it resonates and you know how to move accordingly and if it doesn't you say thank you for the knowledge and you just continue to do what you were doing and when the universe brings that information to you then you're like oh maybe you have those moments of deja vu or whatever it is you're like oh i know this I, I know how to feel maybe or i know what i need to do now because things are starting to make sense so that being said i'm going to end the live and then we're going to talk more get into like numerology and shit like that so if you're on live mwah, thank you for this first portion you guys will have all of his information so just continue to watch hey friends welcome back this is part two of our little astrology talk if you missed part one you need to go back and watch it right you need to go back and watch it um if you are rejoining that <laughs> 